moved into Maryland, went and visited her office. She was like, oh, it's nice to meet you, yeah. Just keep an eye on the website. We, we might have tryouts. And I was like, this is crazy to me. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, so I kept in contact with them, like probably being really annoying, just emailing, 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 just like when you're in the recruiting process, you got to you gotta ig- ig- annoy them to be able to get to them to, for them to recognize your name or whatever. So um, they were like, all right, we're going to have trials. And they set the date two weeks um, into the semester. So I'm like, what am I going to be doing for these two weeks? Like, I'm down here by myself. So I, <laughs> I made friends with the field crew guys. And I would come in to the field <laughs> and use the equipment and, like, hit <laughs> and hit and stuff. <laughs> And like nobody, uh, and then I got caught by the coaches and Mm -hmm. it was kind of like, oh crap, like this probably isn't a great first impression. (laughs) So then I reached out to my parents and I was like, listen, like we're going to need to figure something out because they told me I was no longer, like I wasn't allowed on there. It was like a, a problem with insurance or whatever. And so then my parents would come down like two or three times a week and we'd go to the cages and hit and you know, pitch and field ground balls and stuff. So then I showed up for tryouts and... Sammy Main is an alum of the University of Maryland softball team. She started her career at Maryland at a tryout two weeks into the school year, but by her senior year, she was a starting pitcher for the Terrapins. How many people tried out? There's three of us. So then the following day, I got a text message in the morning that said I was going to be pitching live to the team. Um, pitch live and then <clears throat> they're like we'll make your just dis- we'll make the decision like tomorrow or whatever so then the following day uh, we came and this was like the coolest part um there's a guy that came from MLB and he had like all of the types of Wilson gloves that you could even imagine and he like laid them out on the dugout like it took up the whole dugout and he, they were like, all right, pick out your glove. And I'm like, why the hell would they have me pick out a glove? Like, it was glove day for everyone. But I was like, why would they have me pick out a glove? But, like, she never said anything. So, I mean, she could totally just, like, cross my order off the list, right? So, I, like, pick out a glove. Like, this is such yeah. an experience. Because it's, like, you're live and involved in it. Like, asking the guy questions, joking around with him. And then it was at the end of that practice that she was like, you know, you've – you've uh welcome our new teammate and everybody was like really cool about it um so then I was like okay finally like I made the team but then it was like I don't just want to be on the team like I want to have an impact um I want to play and I'm going to do whatever it takes to play um so I think for me it was very hard to keep a good mindset because you want to be out on the field and I always tell myself I think it would have been different if we won all the time because then it's like, okay, maybe they are better than me. You know what I mean? Like maybe my teammates are better than me. Um, But at the same time, you got to keep that competitive spirit because you want to play just as much as your teammates want to play. You want to win just as much as your teammates want to win. And if that meant like subbing me in to make them be like, I don't want her to play over me. Like I need to step up my game. Then okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? That that mm-hmm. competitiveness in a game. Like I always wanted to win. So when I was, I was playing in practice, it's like I'm gonna compete for this position and I'm gonna make her compete for this position so that even if I'm not playing, she's getting better so that we ultimately get better as a team. Um it's really about your whole career and like you're if you keep working, I promise you something's gonna happen. We had like 15 girls leave. Like think about it. 15 girls. Like, only nine people play, like, 15 spots. Like, that could be – you could – somebody could get hurt. Somebody, like I said, transfer, graduate, you know, every anything can happen. And I think that's the thing that you just have to always be prepared for your opportunity to perform. And then that can blossom into a starting position. I'm going to skip straight to the work question because you just mentioned that. So, like – on your reputation of being a fire plug and being a workhorse like what do you think like people how do you think that looked like in practice like how did people 
see that and why did they think that about you and like what was your mindset that led to this I just had this kind of attitude about me like I'm gonna go out here and prove myself right I'm gonna prove people who doubt me wrong and I had that little chip on my shoulder like you don't have to be excuse me you don't have to be six foot to be a pitcher in division one ball you know like I had a coach who always would talk about the parking lot look. Oh, Sammy, you don't have the parking lot look. You're not, you're not big. You're not six foot plus. Like, you're not going to go D1. And I'm like, it's not about how I look, dude. Like, I'm going to freaking work and show you. Obviously, working hard was to make myself better and to get my own opportunities. But like I said, working hard for me was to make the team better. Um, even in high school, like, you can ask the girls, like, I would have, freaking dinners at my house all the time and I'd be like all right what are our goals for this season like I look back and I'm like you're a lunatic but I'd be like, what are our goals and I still have the paper I kid you not my freshman year there's four freshmen on the team in high school and we won like maybe two games out of a season of like 22 games it was pitiful so then we started getting better my senior year we won state champs and that was the first state championship in school history and only the second appearance in a state championship so that was like big deal but I made my team come over my senior year and I was like what are our goals like personal I want team and I'm gonna culminate them put them on a list whatever and I still have a paper with everyone's different handwriting and the majority of us wrote win a state championship. And it's like so freaking cool. Cause I was like, if we're going to win this, you know what? It, we're not allowed to have winter workouts, but I can have people over and I can feed a machine and we can hit and I can pitch to you and we can work on stuff. You know what I mean? So like if I go out and just pitch, that's not gonna make us win a state championship like because you have to score runs so it was getting the girls together and working and putting that time and ultimately paid off so when you see that work pay off you're like I gotta keep working anything that you want it's like well it worked one time so it's gonna work now so I'm just gonna keep working and I take the same approach to to academics it's like right now I'm studying for the MCAT and it's like all right, people talk about how miserable they are when they study for the MCAT, but I'm like, listen, I'm, I'm out here trying to get the best score, and it's a, it's a competition right now. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to study longer than you, and I'm going to do more practice tests than you, and I'm ultimately going to get a better score than you, which is going to get me into medical school, and I'm going to be, um, and that's just like, when you came on campus and I was like, let's run stairs, let's run the run test. And it's like probably a little overwhelming and like, what the heck, this girl's crazy. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, like she wants to win. And, and it, it makes you want to buy in and it makes you want to win. And mm -hmm. I think that's the, that's like the thing behind it is like seeing your hard work pay off. It's like, oh, I got to keep working. But from a teammate perspective, it's like, um, like they say about Michael Jordan, if you watch The Last Dance, he's like, I never told my teammates yeah. to do something that I didn't do or that I wouldn't do. I'm not going to tell you to, I'm not going to tell you to, hey, go, go practice a run test if I'm not going to practice a run test. Like, no, I'm not going to tell you to go take 100 swings if I'm not going to go take 100 swings. Oh, that's cool. That's so, I mean, seriously, that, that, <laughs> that stair workout that you <laughs> through, might might be the hardest workout I ever did at Maryland <laughs> but um so if you could give your 14 year old self any advice softball player to softball player slash woman to girl what would it be I would say um never ever lose your confidence um college is is tough I'm not gonna lie like you're in the best of the best and it's you're competing with the highest level of talent and I wish I just would have like kept kept that confidence up and one thing I'll suggest for that is like when I was struggling um I had this drawer in my apartment with like all the articles ever written about me cards that people would send me like I know I mentioned coach Ingle before but he sent me a card when I was player of the year and was like, congrats. And like, I'm going to come watch you play and all this stuff. And it was like, 
just filling your mind with that versus letting that negativity creep in, like forcing your mind to see the positive, like I'm worth it. I'm part of the 2%. I'm here. Like I can do it. There's, there's no reason I can't do it. And people being hard on you or you being hard on yourself or you failing doesn't mean, it doesn't really mean anything. It's, it's what you do with that. And I know that's also cliche, but if you keep that positivity, you can grow with that instead of caving in on yourself. So never lose your confidence.